What's good everybody, we are back with another video. Today we are testing out free, that's right, free basketball gear from Wish. If you didn't know, Wish has a lot of free items on their website. But here's the catch, the only thing you have to do is pay for shipping. Shipping can range from a dollar to four dollars, depending on the item. Before I head out on the court to test out the items, I'm gonna tell you what basketball gear I will be testing out right here while they're still in their packaging. Also let it be known that shipping took over a month for each item. Even though I ordered everything at the same time, each item came separately. Also, a tiny, tiny, tiny disclaimer, two of the items weren't free because the items that I got weren't free on the website when I ordered them, and the items that I got were kind of essential to any hooper and if you don't want to get arrested for public nudity so obviously the two items was this shirt it's like a dry fit material you know your boy would have went shirtless but <laughs> you know <laughs> And I also got these shorts. These shorts are like USA Basketball Nike type shorts. For some odd reason, the shipping label for these shorts came from New Jersey when the other items came from China. But these still took over a month to ship, like the other items. Okay, the first item are these socks. These are supposed to be like Nike Elite socks. As the cushioning and the cushioning pattern on the socks are very similar to the Nike Elites. To go along with the fact that it has the stripe on the back of it. However, the logo on these socks actually have a red and black B, kind of like BBB, Big Baller brand. So it's confirmed. Nike, Big Baller brand, and Wish have a collab collaboration on the way. Next we got the knee sleeves with the honeycomb padding. Obviously these are great when you're not getting playing time so you got to do what you got to do for minutes and get on your knees and suck your coach's dick. Next we got this white arm sleeve. Of course when you're talking basketball gear it's the most quintessential thing to have and basically when I grow up I strive to be that dude in the men's recreational league that wears an arm sleeve to every game. That's the goat right there. Next we have this mouth guard. A few players wear mouth guards in the league right now like Steph Curry. For me personally I need the mouth guard because my teeth used to look like this but now now, long story short, I fell on my teeth and they, they broke. And last but certainly not least is the headband. It is scientifically proven that your basketball IQ goes up when wearing this. I think it's because it closes in your brain so all of the brain IQ-ness comes out of your head. You know, it's in the science. Look it up. Look it up. Honestly, my IQ isn't that high because I'm not wearing it right now. You get the floor general badge in 2K when wearing this. And your shooting percentage does go down, but you do take a lot more shots in these, especially difficult fadeaway shots from three in the corner when you're double teamed. All right, man, I'm about ready to go test this basketball gear out. Follow me. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here now about to test the gear from Wish, the free gear from Wish. We're going to be outdoors, and then we're going to move to indoors, too, to test out the other parts of the gear, like the knee sleeves and the arm sleeves. I'll show you guys more about that later, but with all that being said, let's get into it. As you guys can see, I am not in my Wish gear yet, so, Tony, how should I transition to my Wish gear? Uh, Super Saiyan. All right, guys, we in the gear right now. We're about to test it out. As you can see, this shirt is a little bit tight. You know, my nipple is sticking out. Hey, why are you zooming in on my nipple? Why are you zooming in on my nipple? Normally, I wear a size medium, right? But I know with Wish, I know they mess up their sizes, so I got a size large just in case it doesn't fit. And as you can see, it's a little bit on the medium side, or it could be because, you know, your boy been hitting the gym, you know what I'm saying? Getting a little bit of bra lick, you feel me? Or you just getting fat. What'd you say? So you getting fat. It's pretty damn hot outside, so I'm already sweating, not doing anything. And you can see the sweat soaking through my shirt right now. As you can see, the, the shirt is supposed to wick up the sweat, right? That's not doing a very good job of that. Warning before you buy the shorts. Get a size bigger because the shorts I'm wearing now, they're a little bit too tight. They kind of ride in my asshole. Kind of like a wedgie right now, so to speak. If you can see it, I might have to censor it because it's too sexy for YouTube. If you get the shorts, get a size bigger. All right, for the gear, we got the headband, of course. We got the arm sleeve quintessential accessory to any hooper and we got the knee sleeves the big baller brand nike socks from wish we'll test those out of course i already did a review on the wish basketball and the wish sneakers i got on and if you haven't seen those yet go watch it right now oh and i forgot my mom gone Five second rule, five second rule.
All right, so we had to move inside because there was no other way to test out the knee pads. I had to bring my other McDavid knee pad because they only came with one knee pad. See if you can tell which one's which. And if you can get this right on which one's the Wish knee pad and which one's the McDavid knee pad, Mateo, tell them their prize. You get a personal massage from my intern, Mateo. Hell no. Since we're inside, we're gonna do the shooting test too with a shooting sleeve. I'm gonna shoot 10 shots without it and 10 shots with it. See which one I shoot better with, with or without. Cause clearly you can tell if you shoot better, it's because of the sleeve. better without the sleeve. The wish sleeve hindered my shooting abilities. All right, so now we're gonna test out the headband. And so far, it's done a pretty good job of wicking the sweat. So now we're gonna test it out with something serious. Okay, so we're back from the test. Now it's time to review all the Wish gear that we tested out. Starting off with the shirt, as you can see from the test, it was a bit on the medium side, contrary to what the camera guy said. Or you just getting fat. It's not because I gained weight, dumbass. Like I said in the test, normally I wear a medium, but I got a size up to get a large because I had a feeling that Wish would F up the sizing. And honestly, if I played more, there was a strong possibility that it might rip on me mid-game. Then I gotta go skins. Then everyone on my team gotta go skins. And everyone on my team gonna hate me except that one dude who's on a keto diet looking all ripped in that guy man normally the dry fit is supposed to wick away the sweat and absorb it and take up all the odor i mean right off the bat when i took it out of its packaging it already smelled like burnt cheese and rubber but obviously after i sweat in it it smelled more i probably even improved the smell and as you can see here you can see all the sweat marks clearly so the shirt grade is a 5 out of 10 i didn't like the smell or the fact that it was just a regular shirt that didn't really absorb sweat the shirt came too small but in a way it was kind of a good thing because i felt like mr incredible up in this but the shirt was eight dollars so you can't really complain moving on Next we got the shorts. I'm actually wearing them right now, I gotta take them off. All right, as you can see, these are fake USA shorts. The brand is Han Hanky, Han Hangy, Han Hangy. You can also see that the logo is kind of messed up. On the bottom part of the shorts, where the red is, there's this weird squiggly thing. It kind of looks like a little sperm. Honestly, they fit lengthwise and waistwise. They are pretty breathable and comfy. I actually wore them out today just chilling. For the shorts, I have no complaints except for the USA logo looking a little bit off. Overall, I'd give it a grade of 7 out of 10. And honestly, it don't even smell. Next, we got the socks. I'm gonna be honest with you, the socks were surprisingly pretty decent. They have the same structure and length as one of the Nike Elite socks. Overall, I actually like the length of this one better than the higher ones, so for the real Nike Elite socks, I'll probably get this length again. It doesn't have a Nike logo on it, but it does have the stripe in the back. It has a red and black BB logo on it, and at future times, I'll probably wear a cuff like this, so people won't see the logo. I can live with being seen wearing fake Nike gear, but I cannot wear fake Big Baller brand gear. Lavar would kill me. <laughs> I just wanna be a Big Baller. <laughs> <laughs> the sock is actually pretty cushioned, but don't expect it to be durable or last you a long time. I'll probably just wear the socks casually when I go out, when I can't find other socks to wear under jeans. Because I know I'm not the only one out there who magically loses socks. I will say that they are more comfy than hand socks from Target. So the socks grade is a 5 out of 10.
All right, moving on to the knee sleeve. Initially, they look clean, and I was like, okay, okay. At first, obviously, compared to the McDavid one, it was a lot cleaner. It only came with one. Usually, when you buy knee sleeves, it comes with two. I will say that the Wish one compared to the McDavid ones actually stay up on your leg longer. If you've ever worn knee sleeves, you know that they have a tendency to slide down your leg. And another difference in the Wish pair is that the honeycomb pattern is a lot wider than the McDavid pair. Impact on the ground, they both felt the same when protecting my knees. However, after playing in them for a couple hours, shoot, just walking in them, the Wish knee sleeve already has a rip in it. It could have something to do with the mixture of the sliding and the range of motion in my knees when I run up and down the court because the range of motion in this knee sleeve is very limited. And while I've had the McDavid for a few years, it's never ripped on me, especially not the first time wearing them. The grade for the knee sleeve is a 2 out of 10. They look good, but I can't give it a high grade or passing grade if they break the first day wearing them. Moving on to the arm sleeve. The arm sleeve was solid, it stays on your arm, it doesn't smell. So A plus to wish for that. A plus to wish for that. The material is flimsy, so if someone accidentally gets their hand caught in it and accidentally swipes down on it, it could rip it, if it's pulled hard enough. It's definitely not as stiff as the knee sleeve, so just by shooting with it, it won't rip by itself. And like you saw in the shooting test, I shot a lot better without the sleeve. And for those of you saying, Oh, it's not the sleeve that makes you shoot worse, you just suck. I mean, I did shoot 60% without the sleeve. And honestly, I normally don't wear a sleeve, so maybe it just took some time to get adjusting to. But the arm sleeve rating is a solid 6 out of 10. Bowling! Alright, moving on to the mouth guard. I mean, the mouth guard was solid, it did a good job to be honest. As long as it's sturdy and not a flimsy material and can protect your teeth from impact, from elbows or the ground, we're good. Considering I already have fake teeth and the dentist can be a bit pricey, I opted to not hit my mouth with the guard in it. And just the feel of it, it felt solid. Solid. It's kind of like Pac-Man. <laughs> but I will say it fit and felt like a normal mouth guard. Of course, as always, when you get a mouth guard, you have to mold it to your teeth. And if you don't know how to mold the mouth guard to your mouth, I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, so here we are. We're about to mold the mouth guard. What you want to do is boil some water and then put it in right now. I'm actually cooking ramen right now. So after I'm done cooking the ramen, then I'm going to put it in. This is a bonus tip. When you're making ramen and you get this little package, make sure to put all of it in for maximum flavor. This is authentic Japanese ramen. Just a little bit of soy sauce, just a smidge of soy sauce. Now that you see the water is boiling, we're gonna put the mouth guard in it to mold it. You don't wanna leave it in there for too long because it can melt. Okay, so now we're gonna wait like 10 seconds. Okay, so as you can see here, it's a little bit discombobulated like I said, but the thing is, it can still mold to your teeth because it's soft. Dude, you Ha! Oh! Five second rule, five second rule, five second rule. Oh, okay, so the mouth guard rating is a five out of ten. I just hope I didn't get sick putting it in my mouth. Pause. Moving on to the headband. I mean, the headband did its job. There's no thrills with it. Kind of look like Tobias Harris in this It soaked up the sweat. It's stretchy enough to fit around my big ass head without being too tight. And when we did the water balloon test, it did soak up a lot of the water and it dried up pretty fast. I mean, because it's white, it does get dirty easily. Even sweating in it, it doesn't smell. This is about to be a new movement. I'm hooping with the headband forever. All my future videos, I'm wearing the headband. Hashtag headband chronicles. Headband grade is an 8 out of 10. Okay, so a recap. Most of the items were actually pretty decent. I mean, you're not expecting much for free items. Aside from the shirt, which was $8, and the shorts, which were $18, which were kind of essential to the outfit because I didn't want to be arrested for public nudity as I stated earlier the headband arm sleeve and the shorts were all really good which is why i will be wearing these items again the socks and the mouth guard were decent nothing spectacular though while the knee sleeve and the shirt were the worst items so an overall rating of everything I tested out is a 5.4 out of 10. I mean, being free, you can't really complain. And I know a lot of y'all like free shit. I mean, if it's free, it's for me. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the free basketball gear from Wish, and would you cop it? Make sure to watch my other videos testing cheap products from Wish, AliExpress, all that, in the playlist right here. And until next time, we out. Peace.